cut off. Some of you weren't even playing in Garden. You were just running away, dude. And that's why you lost. It is not that fucking hard, dude. It was literally free. It was literally free. There was no situation where they should have been able to do that. Three Once again, I should not have to fucking scream at you guys to be able to make a fucking play. And you wonder why you don't get picked for these fucking elite teams or, the, or these, you know, high tier raids or, oh, I don't get picked for interesting targets, bro. You have to fucking listen, dude. I shouldn't have to repeat myself 10 times over, dude. And it goes from all the way from fucking, uh, from lieutenant, and it, you know, fucking senior lieutenant all the way down to fucking L1 in this server, dude. I should not have to fucking scream at you to make a play, dude. Every single one of you were messing up on that. There was not a single person in the server that wasn't at fault for it in one in some way, shape, or form. You can think you're playing your best game, dude, but I promise you, dude, if you were not listening to calls to a T, you're fucking up. We should not be losing that clutches. We we should be clutching every fucking time, dude. I don't know why we, we lost to fucking ROC like that. There's no way. There, there, there's no indication ever that should ever fucking happen, dude. Take some time to self-reflect on your gameplay because I promise you, dude, so many of you were messing up and you think that you're just the saints of the world. That's why I encourage half of you, bro, just record your gameplay and go look at it because whenever we lose like that, I promise you, whenever you listen to the callouts and how you're actually reacting, you're, you're clueless. Obviously, it's just one raid, so whatever. But, like, that is the epitome of why some of you don't get picked. Just remember that. You guys can go back to Chimera, do yeah, your little debrief, Chimera, whatever. I need, to, I need to verify. <laughs> I mean, XP pretty much just summed it all. Um, personally, XP, I haven't led all terrorists before. We we did some, like, we, we, we kind of trolled at the start, but it was definitely winnable at the end. You, you just had to listen to, like, what XP was saying, what I was saying. Uh, I don't know what happened at the end, dude. We had so many people on the crates, to, like, next to term, and you you were all together, and I told you guys to heal to term. Like, there was no point shooting, because it was three seconds, and we had to just get on the cap. Like, we, we, couldn't, be, we couldn't be making any other players when they were, like, 15 seconds away from winning, and we were three. You just had to go straight to cap. I don't know what happened there, because I wasn't with you guys. I could see you from across the map. I, I, just, I just don't know how we got beamed so much. I mean, just come to Chimera so I can verify. I'm sure a lot of you have been to all terrorists before um, as well, so like when we raid there in the future, just like you, you guys should know what to do for next time. I mean, XP said it himself pretty much like everything that went wrong that DT. You just need to listen to what is being called. That's pretty much it. I mean, I just, I just don't understand how how people how people choke like that. How how and how there's no like. I mean, there's there's issues all the way from the top down, bro. Like there there there's I, I don't understand how like in a situation where we have the number advantage pushing them out, we literally had everybody there, and for some reason, dude, whenever you guys actually commit to something, and mind you, they weren't even in a position to crossfire. We lost all of our individual one on one gunfights whenever we were actually pushing that last you know those last three seconds. That was the epitome of everything, dude. How we can all get into a gunfight, have number advantage, and still lose. That makes no sense. It comes down to just hitting your shots, dude. Like, it's... It, I was saying it throughout then. Like, hit, please hit a fucking shot. We could if, if, if you guys, if you guys hit your shots, like, if you guys hit your shots, then I promise you, dude. Literally, okay. Think about it this way. Every time that we had a team fight, right? Every time that we lost, like a like, a balcony... We should be having a team fight to where we're actually all, you know, in cohesive hitting shots and listening to the callouts, dude. And there were so many times to where we would be giving callouts, right? And then half second later, everybody's like, dude, why did nobody call that out? Or dude, why did why didn't this, you know, why why didn't we talk about this? Or why didn't you know so and so? Like people not listening. And you all hear it too. You all hear it whenever people are like, dude, I did, why didn't nobody any, like why didn't anybody call that out? You have to listen to the people that are giving you direction. And it shouldn't take me going, hurting your fucking ears, basically, to get it drilled into your head that you need to do something. Like I said, nobody on this fucking roster is exempt from it. Nobody. So the next time that somebody's leading you, 
I hope to God that you actually listen and follow through and actually don't crack under pressure, dude, because I can tell some of you are shaking in your boots the second that, you know, there's actual pressure put on you. It's, you know, like I said, one server, whatever, we get over it. But those those tiny margins, that's that's what needs to be reflected on. And especially for some of you that are in like the GMT hours and, you know, like don't get raids very often. It's fine. You're not, you don't have as much experience as like the ESTs who raid all the time, but they they get lectured just like this. If they lose like this, I promise you all the elites, they get reamed for an hour about it and they go back and they do a VOD reflect. So this type of reflection, bro, you have to have it. Otherwise it just doesn't, it doesn't correlate in your brain. And you're going to remember the next time that we're in a situation like this, you're going to understand what the repercussions are of me basically reaming out everybody in this fucking server. Listen to your team, hit your fucking shots, and actually coordinate with your team and play up with them, dude. So many of you just thought you were heroes. <clears throat> I, I, I'm not even. I'm not going to criticize any any like microphone situation because, honest to God, like towards the last like hundred seconds, um, it was basically just me. But, um, you know, you we we can't be lo losing team fights like. The last team fight on the balcony, that was that was a point that I was like, that's kind of when I knew that we were basically throwing the game. We should not like, and no, in no sphere of the imagination, on the like our side, our side balcony or on their side balcony, they should not lose that. We should not lose ours. Period. But we're losing team fights on balconies, dude. That can't happen. And the simple point of that, dude, is every single time that you're in a team fight, you need to be looking around you, looking at what changes, and going accordingly, dude. So many of you have tunnel vision. You'll look at one player, and you'll be focusing on aiming at them so hard that you zone out, dude. You forget what is going on around you. And so then you have six people come behind you, and you're like, dude, why did nobody call that out? So just remember that shit, dude. <clears throat> Obviously, for the first, like, uh, however many seconds we were we were throwing the game, um, I like like i said um you know and patch said it was his first time leading there i don't think that should be the case anyways um patch the next time that you deploy to a base that you don't know you need to get with the other voc leaders and you know figure yeah, it out of because i was, I was spending because... ages trying to find a base and then rc was like okay we can defend our terrorists and i, I wasn't just gonna uh deny that no that's that's yeah. completely fine but you, there are other people that are online that can explain the base to you pretty quickly um, yeah. So I don't think that there's any excuse for that whatsoever. Um, use yeah, the tools that are it. use the I tools that are available to you. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, that's what I've built the VOC for. So yeah, of course. Um, with that said, um, like I said, issues from all the way from the top all the way to the bottom and vice versa. Just fix your gameplay, bro. Like I said, um, I do genuinely recommend recording your gameplay. Don't even like even if it's not like montage. I, I, like don't don't record for a montage just record to be a better player dude i promise you every almost every elite that's above you does vod reviews almost after after every single elite raid people like late outflash chouse all of them dude all of them go into a vc they pull up a, a recording of it look at what went wrong and fix it dude if you are not replicating that type of thing if you're not trying to fix your gameplay i promise you you're going to stagnate and nothing's going to change those and, and these are the types of games that you need to be looking at the most. I'm not going to ream about it anymore. Um, you know what you did wrong. All of you know what you did wrong. Reflect on it. Build on it. We're fucking back. So the next time we, we deploy, we're going to rape them. It is what it is. Um, you know, good games to ROC. They 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 fucking beat us. They they bested you. So we'll just leave it at that.